jai hind and a happy independence day to one and all either i will come back after hoisting the tricolor or i will come back wrapped in it but i will be back for sure were the words of the late captain vikram batra saluting this great true spirit and undaunted courage i shruti khandvi welcome you all to the celebration of 74th independence day on the account of the very proud moment i welcome the august chief guest wing commander dr jayesh pai the school director respected mr siddharth rajgariya sir and honorable principal dr pushpit dal i request the school dignitaries to escort the chief guest wing commander dr jayesh pai as he hoists the national flag which will be followed by the national anthem and the flag song जन गण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जल धितरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाधा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 रगों में राणा व शिवाजी वाला लहू का उफान कभी चुकने ना पाएगा पन्याधाय हाड़ी का ये बलिदानी देश कुर्बानी में कलेजा दुखने ना पाएगा 
शेखर सुभाष अशफाक की धारा है यहाँ क्रांति का प्रभाव कभी रुकने ना पाएगा सौ करोड़ जनता के दिल में लहराता ये लाडला तिरंगा कभी झुकने ना पाएगा लाडला तिरंगा कभी झुकने ना पाएगा profound words for the legendary heroes and their deeds truly an evocative truly an evocative composition delhi public school nashik is extremely honored with the presence of wing commander dr jayesh pai as the chief guest for the celebration of independence day sir success trajectory is inspiring to get introduced to the same i request ms saudi to acquaint us with sir's motivational journey it is a great honor for me to introduce and welcome the chief guest wing commander dr jayesh pai on the account of independence day celebration sir merely requires an introduction though the attribute wing commander speaks about sir's service to the nation and fills each heart with respect for this noble contribution Sir has served for 22 years in Indian Air Force. He has also shared his expertise and knowledge in the development of micro, small, and medium enterprise ministry. Sir has played an instrumental role with the government of Taiwan for five years. Sir is also well known for his work in the field of education. He had been associated with the Bhosla School as a commandant for a year. Presently, Sir is associated with IIT Goa and Bombay. so on behalf of dps nasik family i salute you for your incredible graph and express my thanks for gracing today's occasion thank you thank you savli friends what success success is a proper blend of perspiration and inspiration and to inspire us to perspire i request the chief guest Wing Commander Dr. Jayesh Pai to boost our tempo with his experience and wisdom. Okay. Good morning, my dear children, and good morning to all the teachers and to the parents who are watching this. Uh, first of all let me thank all the people who have invited me here as the chief guest today and a big thanks to the principal and the director of the school today is the 74th independence day and i'm talking to you on a rainy day the mood is gloomy but let me make it colorful for you you know when we grow up as children we hear a lot of stories and each story has got a moral at the end of it a simple story like the hare and the tortoise has a moral that slow and steady wins the race so as we listen to stories when we when we are children we hear a lot of morals now all children most of the teachers most of the parents would also be watching movies and each movie is also got a moral so today i'll talk about three movies and also tell you a story at the end of it the first movie which i'll talk to you is about apollo 13 <clears throat> it's about apollo 13 a movie about america's launch to the moon the 13th mission tom hanks played the astronaut jim lowell and ed harris played gene kranz who was a flight director now unfortunately apollo 13 could not reach the moon because of a failed oxygen tank and the astronauts had to be brought back to earth now there is a famous dialogue in that movie which i want all of you to remember throughout your life it says failure is not an option 
This dialogue was told by the flight director, Gene Kranz, that is head heiress in the movie. Failure is not an option. This is what we are taught in the armed forces also, that failure is not an option. Okay. Second movie which I would like to talk to you is about Super 30. Most of you would have seen this. Hrithik Roshan plays Anand Kumar. Now there is a scene in the movie when he asks his Super 30 children to close their eyes and think about their parents before they see the result. I'm sure all of you would remember this scene. The children close their eyes and think about their parents. Now the message which Hrithik Roshan gives or Anand Kumar gives is believe in yourself, trust in yourself. And when you're facing a crisis, close your eyes, think about your parents. Or think about something which is close to you, maybe an animal, maybe your friend, maybe your grandmother, maybe your grandfather, someone who's close to you. Just close your eyes, think about them and believe in yourself, trust in yourself. Okay, the third movie which I would like to talk to you is about The Pursuit of Happiness. Will Smith plays the role of Chris Gardner and Jaden Smith plays the role of Will Smith's son, Christopher. If you have not seen this movie, all of you children, please see this movie today itself. Just sit and watch this movie. There is a scene in the basketball court where Will Smith tells his son, Jaden Smith, that you should never ever give up on your dreams. Even if I, as a father, tell you to not to chase a dream, don't listen to your father also. That is, if you have a dream, chase it. If you have a dream, make sure you live up to it. He said, the world is your oyster. It is you who have to search for the pearls. The pearl is not going to come to you. You have to search for the pearls. This is a beautiful movie, but the moral of this in a movie is outstanding. So those of you who have not seen these three movies, please watch them. Okay. Now to round it off at the end of the session, let me tell you a story. And I want all of you to remember this story throughout your life. That is crabs in a bucket. If you go to a fish market, you will find that the crabs are put in a bucket or in a tub with no cover. Why? Because if one crab tries to come out, 100 other crabs will pull it down. So the, uh, in the fish market, the person who sells the fish will never cover the tub, will never cover the bucket. He always allows the crabs to remain in an open bucket, open tub, because he knows no crab will escape. Now, this is what is happening in most of our society. If there is a good student, if there is a good person, you will find 100 other people trying to pull them down. We love to hear negative reactions about a person. You know, we love to make sure that people are pulled down. Don't become a crab bucket story. So my message to you today, based on this story is, if there is a good person, if there is a good human being, make sure that you come underneath that person and make sure that the society supports them. And this is why you'll find most of the developed countries actually develop quite a lot because the good people there are supported quite well. So in your everyday day-to-day -day life, make sure that you 
don't become a crab and pull somebody else down make sure that you support any good person any good human being any good uh, you know project which is there so that the whole society develops as a whole so the moral of the story is there is no bad person in this world there is no bad thing in this world it's our outlook it's our way of thinking it's our perception you know when i did my phd in germany my teacher told me there is no bad student i don't have any favorite student or any favorite person who my teach for me all students are equal if i as a teacher have a favorite student then i am not a teacher so he made sure you know i took 10 years to finish my phd why i am telling you this is if you have a dream you will achieve it go for it you will achieve it make sure that you reach that pearl in the oyster so this is my message to you don't become a crab and make sure that you follow your dreams close your eyes think about your parents or your favorite animal or being what <clears throat> what or is your favorite thing and always remember failure is not an option in life thank you jai hind thank you sir for your encouraging words india has turned a leaf with incredible steps like make in india permanent commission for women in the indian army and the most recent nep 2020 transforming education these steps will not only keep us abreast with the developed nations but will also strengthen us to the core on this note i request ms disha to express her views a very good morning to one and all present here today i disha mishra stand before you all on the auspicious occasion of independence day my heartfelt wishes to all on the account of 74th independence day we all take great pride to be addressed as indians and feel blessed that we took birth on this land an independent india this freedom is hard earned freedom of india includes decades of sacrifices and struggles the land on which we breathe is a gift to us it is a gift of sacrifices sleepless nights brutal tortures and struggles of great men like netaji subhash chandra bose jawahar lal nehru mahatma gandhi bal gangadhar tilak bhagat singh chandrashekhar azad and many more they were the one who struggled hard for freedom of india till their last breath in this time of pandemic we all can understand the importance of freedom while we all are confined within the four walls it is a great teacher which teaches us to value the freedom which we have the strongest asset of this nation is its youth advancing under the able guidance of their experienced mentors this camaraderie will indeed glorify this land we are advanced in technology military arts and architecture we have an advanced agricultural system we are self sufficient in many resources today we play an important role in significant international affairs around the world our youth is leading the world in technology and engineering we have begun taking strides towards advancement let us also take pledge to work in unison to be entrepreneurs and creators and make our country self reliant jai hind jai bharat thank you disha now let's march our feet on the lyrics kadam kadam badhaye ja sung by dipsai
Thank you, friends. Indians are born fighters. They have an unbeatable tenacity and will to overcome all the odds in their ways. On this journey, many get recognition while many are forgotten. To commemorate those legends, I request Runmai, Malvika, and Savni to present the presentation on unsung heroes. Jai Hind! On the auspicious occasion of Independence Day, I am Rinmay, along with my friends Malvika and Samni, would like to aware you about some unsung heroes from the time of pre-independence era, modern era and post-independence era. One of the freedom fighters from the pre-independence era is Bikaji Kama. Bikaji Kama was an Indian political activist who used her voice for women's rights. She left India for London, where she met Dada Bhai Nauroji, with whom she started working for Indian National Congress. She became an eminent politician by the help of Veer Savarkar, Lala Hardayal, and Shamji Krishna Verma. Britishers had banned Kama from entering into India because they were afraid of her revolutionary activities. But even they could not beat the fighting spirit of the lioness who eventually managed to come back to her motherland after fighting for 35 years on foreign land. Her fearless woman brought an awareness of Indian struggle for independence. One of the modern, present-day unsung warrior is Bina Rao. Bina Rao introduced an initiative called Prayas, which provides education to the children living in slum and to those who are not economically sound. Apart from teaching basic subjects, these children are given moral education give, and are also given music and dance lessons and are encouraged to participate in various activities so that they become a versatile youth of the country. One of the challenges for Bina Rao was to convince the parents and gain their trust and confidence and to manage to get a dedicated team of volunteers. Rao earns nothing from the trust, 
whatever money she gets she uses it for paying salary to the volunteers and for the study material of the students she has given a hope to these slum children to dream big she is truly the hero of our nation now i request malvika to continue further Khudira Bose is one of the youngest martyrs of the Indian independence movement. At the age of 16, he took part in planting bombs near police stations and government offices. He had attempted to assassinate a British judge by throwing a bomb, but instead killed two British women. For this, Khudira was arrested and hanged at the tender age of 18. As a tribute to this young martyr many institutions have been set up such as the Khudiram Bose Central J College Shahid Khudiram Station Khudiram Bose Memorial Central J and many more If you may identify this logo are you aware which group of companies this logo comes under Yes it is the well known Tata group Tata Group is one of the oldest Indian multinational companies. The success of this company is attributed to not only the pioneering effort of the founder and the company management but also to hundreds of employees, beneficiaries and grateful well-wishers of the movement known as Tata. With honest and straightforward business principles, close and careful attention to details and the ability to take advantage of the favorable opportunities and circumstances there is a hope for success this was rightly said by jamshed ji tata the founder of tata group he is also regarded as the legendary father of the indian industry he is known as one of the most important builders of the modern indian economy Tata is notable for the Tata Iron and Steel Works company in Jamshedpur but he didn't stop at this he went on to establish businesses in many other areas that stood as a foundation to modern indian business now i request savni to take over dhondo keshav karve a social reformer and educationalist who was awarded padma vibhushan in 1955 and bharat ratna in 1958 for the noble cause a upliftment of women he founded various institutions for promotion of females in different aspects which are vidva vivah tojak mandali a society which promoted widow remarriages mahisha surmadini a home for widows indian women university and many more a man doing so much for the position of females isn't it inspiring his con- his contributions have been a huge grant for all the women in the country captain saurabh kalia was an officer of the indian army who died during the kargil war he was being held as a prisoner of war by the pakistani army the story began on 15th of may 1999 when captain kalya along with his five other soldiers were on a routine patrol of the bajrang post in the ladakh mountains when they engaged in a fire fight with the pakistani forces across the loc unfortunately they ran out of ammunition and then were encircled by the pakistani rangers those cowards captured the entire patrol party before the backup party could reach them they were tortured in a very inhuman way but these brave hearts chose to suffer everything instead of opening their mouth and revealing the information a flag does not fly because the wind moves it it flies with the last breath of every soldier who died protecting it so today on the 74th independence day let's come together and celebrate their bravery and their never ending fighting spirit jai hind Thank you friends I am astounded to see infants swaying on musical beats their innocent movements captivate all around them also making them believe in a b c d that is anybody can dance to enjoy such graceful and mesmerizing performance i invite the troop on the floor गया है आकाश 
मुख पर अब तिरंगा भरे भरे मन गर्भ से लहरा गया जब तिरंगा लोगों देखो देखो छा गया है आकाश पर अब तिरंगा है Indeed, fascinating. Thank you for this lovely and graceful performance. Songs and music continue to evoke the sentiments of people. To experience the same, I request the school choir to enthrall us with their rendition.
Thank you, friends. That was indeed a phenomenal performance. On this note, I request Ms. Savdi to propose the vote of thanks. Happy Independence Day to all. It is rightly said that strength does not come from physical capacity. It comes from an indomitable will. The will that is seen in all the warriors with one determination. Combat coronavirus. I, Savli Sunavni, on behalf of GPS Nasik family, on account of 15th August, salute the brave heroes for their courage and selfless service. I also take this opportunity to extend my gratitude to the school dignitaries and chief guest, Wing Commander Dr. Jayesh Pai, for gracing the occasion with their presence. I also mention a deep sense of appreciation to the teachers and students for putting up such a wonderful and informative program. Before signing off, I know times are testing, keeping us bending. Resilience is in each being. Solution is shining. Remember, Evening will be followed by morning. Dark clouds do have silver lining. Till then, be positive to be corona negative. Social distancing is imperative. Thank you. Jai Hind.